Hey you all, Carbon Bagger here coming to you live from the great state of Texas, more specifically Dallas, Texas. We're outside of the Dallas Zoo. We're not going to the zoo today, but I did want to check out this restaurant here outside of the zoo. This is a McDonald's, which is a normal site, but you notice this is the, the custom zoo McDonald's. A unique, a unique offshoot of uh, McDonald's where they've decorated the building with some very hungry animals. Let's go take a look. Follow me. So you see, it does have kind of that old school McDonald's roof. I love that as well. In addition to the uh, wonderful fiberglass animals overlooking the parking lot. This gorilla here devouring some fries. Looks like he's taking some big chomps out of those fries. You can see that this tiger here has taken a break from devouring zebras and he is currently devouring a cheeseburger. Over on this side, we see a crocodile devouring a Big Mac. See it there on the sign, a monkey and a giraffe. Look at that elephant there with the long eyelashes. Let's actually take a quick look on the inside. The dining room is currently closed, but you can see there's a giraffe snacking on that tree as well. It's a giant snake. It's an elephant right there. You want to stand in front of it? We got a chimpanzee in the tree there. It's a leopard creeping over top uh, the counter there. As I said, we're not going to the zoo today. We're going somewhere much stranger. So while researching locations here in Texas to film at, I clicked on a Facebook ad, which I normally try not to do, because I saw a name that fascinated me. I saw Rainbow Vomit. This is a traction here in Dallas, Texas. It is called Rainbow Vomit, and I don't know what we are uh, getting ourselves into here, but really, how could I not stop and enjoy a heaping, steaming pile of rainbow vomit. Rainbow vomit where adults feel like kids again. You can see that's interesting facade up there, that black and white facade in this old stretch of buildings here. But yeah, rainbow vomit. I stepped into the lobby here. See some thunderclouds. There's some Rainbow Vomit merch. All right, heading through the curtain here. All right, we've entered through this black and white room here. It says Rainbow Vomit there on the wall. Everything looks almost like a comic book. The gentleman at the front said there's actually a secret to be discovered here. I had to keep my eyes out. Well, no secrets in there, but we will continue to look for secrets. I wonder if this is some sort of code or secret right here. Someone spelled cat eight. We would be rearranged the letters. Let's say, I don't know. I don't know what we're saying. Maybe say Matt. I, I don't know. A bar in here. Some, uh, Bar items here. Well, that's a baby bottle. That's not a bar item. There's some shot glasses. Bottle of bottle of wine there. Is that some sort of mixed drink? You can see pouring from these uh, bar tabs here. I have a goose and a telephone, and there's some rainbow liquid spewing forth, possibly vomit. There's an adorable little kitty leaking rainbow vomit out of its mouth. See the fireplace here, it's that glowing 
flaming ember. See on the mantle, this woman. And, um, oh, look at this. Is that Stan Lee spewing rainbow vomit? You can see the desk here. The phone is saying ring, ring, ring. Looks like someone has had a sweet 16 party. And uh, look at the clock there. No matter what time it is, it's always now. See from this filing cabinet, there's an explosion of maybe like comic pages. And as they come up here, they, they, they have more color. So the final one is a unicorn jumping through a rainbow waterfall. Maybe vomit. Let's see if there's any secrets in here. Comic books. The Atlantis Chronicles. Oh, let's see if this typewriter works. A little bit. Typewriter is so hard to keep working. All right, there's a tunnel of some sort right here. When all hope fades around, raise your soul. And look at this, having a little banana rainstorm here. Bananas falling from this yellow rain cloud. It's a phone booth right here. Of course, decorated with the unicorns vomiting rainbows. They really take the name on very, very literally. Here we are at a phone. I don't know, should we listen to the phone? They said, supposedly there is a secret. Here it looks like maybe Beetlejuice's jacket. Oh, I bet the secret's in here. Ah, uh, just a bunch of old wigs. Oh, it's a luchador mask. I guess we can put these on. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It's a clown wig. All sorts of great stuff in that box. Oh no, someone is vomited all over this table right here. It's the janitor closet. Oh, it's actually a janitor's closet. We'll, we'll leave that be. All right, the uh, storm clouds here. Storm clouds actually forming in this kitchen. What's in the sink? Oh, I I thought, I thought these were marbles. They're not, they're slimy. They are, um, they're like, I don't know, slime marbles? I don't know, let me, let me just dig all the way down in there. Maybe the secret's hiding in the slime. Oh my gosh, that was a mistake. Yeah, slimy marbles. Interesting sensation, I've not done anything this, <laughs> this graphic in a long time. <laughs> Let's use some hand sanitizer, right? Still on the lookout for secrets. Okay, no secrets in there. The pink stove here. Oh, just naturally assume everything is supposed to be open. Maybe it's not. We have uh, some just solid products in there. Braid the cabinets. Oh! Yeah, I don't know. No secrets. No secrets in there. With the blue refrigerator. There's Dorothy as a duck. Freezer has ice in it. Oh, and there's, there's drinks. I guess you can uh, purchase these drinks if you are thirsty. From here, I guess, uh, Head up these stairs. Oh my gosh. There's a wall of eyeballs. See the unicorn heads right there? Is this? Okay, that's not the secret. He told me it was a secret, I swear. I'm not just opening everything up just to be inappropriate. What's over here? Is this a dead end? I'm confused. I, 
I'm missing out on something here. Wait a minute, I don't remember this door before. It's a door under the banana storm. Oh, I haven't been in here before. Oh, it's, it's the restroom. Oh, but what a wet restroom. This is pretty cool. You got this, push harder. Where are we? Looking good. Thank you, a think tank, think tank. Okay, I don't really have to use the bathroom right now, so we'll head back out. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That just pulled, there's something going on that just pulled open a curtain. See, there's some stuff going on in there, okay. There's something over there, we're gonna go back down that way. I think I figured out the secret. Okay, is there something through here maybe? Oh, bingo. Oh, where are we? Where have we entered some sort of glowing rainbow tunnel? Look at the unicorn. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, I think we can ride the unicorn. you can chill on here in the uh, unicorn room. See the uh, the uh, air conditioning units are leaking that familiar rainbow color rainbow colored bio. Oh, what on earth? vomit. So all this talk of vomit has made me hungry. Let's go, uh, let's go locate something to eat. Stopped off here at Arlington, Texas to grab some food here at the Flying Fish. Oh boy, mud bugs are here. Here at the Flying Fish, they have a Billy Bass Adoption Center. It says the world's first. I'm not 100% sure if this is the world's first. They also have Billy Bass Adoption Centers in Memphis, Tennessee, and Little Rock, Arkansas. And they all claim to be the first. If you donate a Billy Bass to the Adoption Center, they'll actually give you a free catfish basket in exchange for your Billy Bass. Now, I don't have a fish on the wall here, but actually at the Memphis location, I do. I did donate a fish on the wall, and it's still on the wall at the Memphis uh, Flying Fish. You can see some of the donated fish there with people's names under them. It's the big marlin there. I guess all the different Billy Basses. Some of them have been customized. That one's got a little flower on it. This one here has got some hair added. We got a little jaws. Got a Christmassy Billy Bass catfish. Here's a uh, red, white, and blue Billy Bass. Sort of skeletal fish there. All right, so I got what they call the Cajun Buffet Platter. We have some uh, crawfish jambalaya. These are alligator bites, and then these are frog legs. I haven't, I haven't had frog legs in a very long time. I wanted to try them again, so uh, let's dig in. All right, let's try some of the, the alligator here. Got some uh, alligator sauce there. Mm. 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 It's tasty. Mm. Love alligator. It's super tasty. Then we got some uh, 
shrimp and crawfish jambalaya there. Mm. Absolutely love any sort of Cajun food. So now we try the frog legs. I don't like how they look. They kind of look like little people legs. It's a little bit disturbing, but um, let's see what they taste like. Kind of tastes like a, basically tastes like a, um, like a, like a chicken wing. Yeah, basically a chicken wing. So thank you for joining me today. If you like these videos, think about hitting that subscribe button. Um, helps me out and I'll let you know whenever there's a new video. And if you like these videos, check out some of my older videos. I've been to the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, museums, amusement parks, haunted houses, and other fun stuff in all of them. Another way to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling some merchandise in our Etsy shop. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the back.